my god, I look stupid as hell. Can I, like, change this? How do I change the... I look stupid! No, get this thing off my f***ing head! <laughs> hey, Internet! It's Jessica, and welcome back to Dragon Age of the Veil Guard. Last we left off, Solus is trapped in the Fade in the prison that he made for the Evanurus. And uh, now we have met a new companion, Bilar. This is the first companion we're meeting. Uh, with the veil jumpers and things are starting to look different the artifacts that were not working are now working again so uh we're gonna find out what's gonna happen next because again this is something that i've been interested in as well learning about elven artifacts because inquisition i made sure to turn on all those artifacts solace was saying hey you should turn on and i did because i'm stupid uh we'll see what the consequences of that is Thank you once again to EA for providing me a copy of this game to play for free. I really appreciate it because my my little Dragon Age heart is just so happy right now to be playing this. <laughs> All right, I'm actually scared of what's gonna be in here because like again, the whole thing with the blight is kind of freaking me out. Just because we know how bad it can get from Dragon Age Origins, just imagine how worse it is now when you involve Elven magic because Elven magic is so powerful. Okay, here it is. The Nodis Dirthalen. So okay. we take it in with good, right? We can head back? Oh, I wish. No, it, it, it's a lot trickier than that. What does that As mean? As if darkspawn demons and animated suits of armor aren't tricky enough. Uh, what's tricky about it? What do you mean by tricky, exactly? If I remove the artifact the way I'd usually do it, it'll explode and take oh. out half of Arlathan with it. You know, maybe that's for the I best. I <laughs> can shunt the energy somewhere else. Okay. The fade? Here we go. Girl, this is kind of scary. What do you mean? Where are you going to put it? The way the magic is pulsing. I've never seen this before. What's going on? It's almost like it's... What's that? Breathing. What is that? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh sh Ogre! That's an ogre! Yo, the ogres look different here! Oh, oh no. Oh oh no! How do I target you again? Sorry. Okay, hang on. Give me a break with the swings, damn. Oh no, 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 I can't. Um, um, uh, sorry, I'm kind of panicking. Anybody? Whoa, ultimate ability? Ultimate ability! Oh, uh, uh, okay. Sure. Whoa. I feel like I could have backed up a little bit, but I didn't know what she was gonna do. <laughs> well, 
that was well, fun. Wasn't expecting to fight an ogre today. Yeah, me either. Then again, wasn't expecting I also to see Dark Spawn yet. To learn that my gods are rampaging around and trying to end the world. Just one of those days. Just one of those days where you wouldn't. What did Olympus okay. get song? I don't remember. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Okay. There we go. Ooh. No, no, no. That's good. I think. Is it? Oh. Uh, what does that crystal do? Keeps that? the artifact powered. Focuses the ambient magical energy. That's why these things still work thousands of years later. Oh. No, you don't. <laughs> Oh my god, I thought it was going to blow up. What did that do? Sulanan, oh. Vir Sulevanan, and Asal Dirthara. Well then. I am the Nada Sturthara. I was about to say, girl, my Elvis is kind of like, uh, my Elvis Wait, is very um, rusty. I have questions. I am the Nada Sturthara. What do you... Where'd it go? Where'd the spirit go? The Nodus Dathalan, I mean. It went back into the crystal, but the crystal's broken until I fix it. Gotcha. It's oh, damn. You know what? Fixing magical stuff. I bet we're going to learn more about Solus. Like, I feel like we know a lot about him, but there's so much unknown about him during his time against the Evangelists. Because everyone this. has been saying the he's blight, the bad guy. And the dark spawn. Let me know when you're ready to head to the Veil Jumper camp. Okay. No, I'm I'm actually really interested because I I, I you know, aside from my bias, the, the fact that I romance Solus and I want to know his background, he he's such a mystery still to us, even a game later, just because, like I said, his character is hidden in secrets and he's been told time and time again how people lie about him telling stories and he just doesn't bother correcting it. So in the end, we don't really know what's the truth if you really think about it. Are these people telling the truth that he is actually an asshole or... Is he not? And, and he's just lighting it. Sure, there's like, we've seen, you know, in the um, Trespasser DLC, like he was helping slaves and stuff. But th that doesn't mean he can't be an asshole. You know what I mean? Like, there's still a possibility. Let me do this. Yeah, I'll do that one. I can change my companion stuff. Do you guys have like anything new? Here, take that. Just basically her cooldowns. I'm gonna do this one. All right, before we head back to the camp, I did want to talk about, like, uh, my character's backstory. Lara, I haven't really said, like, what she wants to be. I guess because I, I, I want to think about it first before I started, like, saying stuff. Um, so, obviously, she's an Antivan crow and from, and from that circle. So, I want to say she was kidnapped because... The, the reason why I'm saying this, I'm going to hold, write a whole description in, uh, about her backstory, but the reason why I'm saying this is because she, the way she answered Bellara when she was like, our gods. And originally, I wasn't going to make her um, believe in the elven gods. I was going to probably make her Andrastian, if I'm going to be honest, just because of like where she's from. She's not from... Uh, you know, she's not from a Dalish camp or anything. So that's what I was originally going to do. But the fact that she she didn't say anything but our gods, because she's an elf, it makes me believe that she was originally part of a Dalish camp, but she was kidnapped. Like, in the Tevinter area, elves are not, like, treated properly, right? So I want to say she was taken from her family. And the way that she was taken is through to because they take a lot of slaves that are elves unfortunately 
and uh, she manages to escape and by the time she's uh, in her teenage years she uh, reaches the Antivan Crows and um, joins up with them. Again, I, I'll put a whole detailed description because I want to, you know, have a backstory for her. But it would make more sense because her accent isn't Antivan. If you listen to her, she's got a British accent. And Ante- Antivan is more like Italian-ish accent. So I, I just want to say that that's the reason why her accent's not the same. I feel like that makes more sense. Anyway. Ready to go? Yeah, let's go. Right. Let's get moving. Come on. I'll show you the way to the Veil Jumper camp. Oh, and you guys are telling me those two other elves that knew about the gods, they are part of the Dragon Age comics. So they were up to speed of like what's going on with Harding and stuff. So that makes more sense. I guess for me personally, I, this is one thing I do wish this game had was our character was a little less knowledgeable on what's going on because i feel like that's more interesting we learn about what's happening but i guess considering they've been looking for souls for 10 years they know everything some of our most experienced fighters are still missing we're running out of bail jumpers whatever's going on out there it's scary also is that snake david hater is that you What happened? Jahel and Milva never reported back from Demeter's crossing. There are a hundred people living in that village, or near enough. You're back, and you're alive. Good. Sounds like things have gotten a lot worse since we left. Darkspawn. They're showing up all over Arlathan, attacking anyone in their path. Yeah, we run a, we ran a couple of them, three daily too. settlements already. We ran into Darkspawn, too. Near the Nadis Dirthalen. Wait, you found the Nadis Dirthalen? The Archive Spirit? We could ask it about the gods. Figure out their next move. Dalish are priority. Too bad it's broken. We know enough. Honestly, just I'm gonna say because Lara has a little special place in in her heart for the Dalish, even though she never grew around them because she doesn't know her own people that well, it's still her people. Archives broken, won't tell us anything, but that doesn't matter. Any Dalish settlements we can save, we should. So far, we've been lucky and arrived just in time. But given how fast these dark spawn are moving, it's only a matter of time till our luck runs out. I well, know. it hasn't run out yet, so let's stretch it until it breaks. <laughs> if we could predict where they'd strike next, we might get ahead of them. But so far, they've been unpredictable. Which leaves us with what? Demetta's crossing. What? Irulan and Strife, when we came in, you said you'd lost contact with Demetta's crossing. We could go check it out. The three of us, I mean. You mean four? You're not leaving me behind. Oh, honey. You were just wounded. We can... You'll have to tie me up to keep me here. I don't know what you're going to find there, Rook. Place, if I have Likely, to, I will. You're still could. injured. But you'd be saving people. And it might get you on the trail of the gods. Demetta's crossing's on the far side of the lake. There's a small boat at the docks. It'll take you there. Watch your back out there. And Thanks, good Snake. luck. <laughs> I just keep calling him Snake. That's all I hear is David Hater. <laughs> Okay. Would the team's help Bilara disable the artifact and freed them from the Veil Bubble? She also uncovered an ancient respiratory of elven knowledge, the Nadas Dirthalen. While Bilara intends to unlock its secret, she has joined the team as they search for the escaped elven gods. I do like that they have this like little summary so you know like what's happening so far. We'll need a boat to get there. Let's head to the dock. Wait. What was that that just popped up? Hello? I'll read more about that later. Like I said, we'll, we'll read more, you know, lore stuff. Um, ooh, I can buy things from here. What you Hello. hear about Demeter's crossing? Veil jumpers have gone missing. Do we know why? Someone will have to go out there and find out. Plenty of ways to spend your coin here. Can I sell things? Sell. I don't know if I need, like... 
what can I craft with things? You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what do I need to keep cr to craft stuff? I'm not really sure. Oh, and, he, and it raises your fa uh, faction strength. I want to do that with the Dalish, just for my personal, um, personal, uh, preference for me personally, just because, uh, we Dalish out here. I kind of wanted to buy accessories, but we don't have anything to unlock. I'm going to save it until we can unlock that. And now that we've met, do your best not to die, yeah? It can be rough out there. Oh, thanks. <laughs> but yeah, like what I was mentioning earlier, I do kind of wish our character was a little bit dumb, per se, and like what's going on. Kind of like how the other protagonists were of like what was happening. Because, um... We're losing too many veil jumpers. It is kind of hard to like no, introduce the veil guard to a new player because you need to know the other dragon age. Just saying you don't you don't need it for the other ones because you do, but this one in particular, you need to play the other ones to know what the heck is going on. This is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, I love that. Hey, Alluvian. And it's not online, it's busted. But there's an icon for it on the map. Hmm. All right, let's go to Dometa Crossing. See what we can Sounds find. Sounds like a lot happened here. What hasn't happened? This area is where Tevinter Magisters destroyed Arlathan City centuries ago. Yeah. A whole lot of blood magic during the war. And now? Whatever Solus did stirred up everything again. The old blood magic from the war never went away. Ancient relics appear out of thin air. Ruins float. It's like... An old wound that never healed. And now it's bleeding again. Yeah, it's true. And it sucks because like... Ugh, because I know Solus wasn't trying to do that on purpose. Like literally he was trying to remove them. But yeah, it's, it's nuts that I'm here. Like I've been thinking about like what this place would look like because Arlathon wasn't really in the other games. Like you, you hear things about it, and also Tevinter was never really in, in the game go. that often. So it's nice to see it. Oh, do you see that? That's interesting. What a view. That was the capital city, Arlathan. This is what's left of it after the war. I don't imagine it floated back in the day. Yeah, it's crazy. And just to see, like, the history of it, too, because, again, the, the I, this is why I'm a little bit biased, but the, the history of the elves in this game is it, just really tragic, like, like, what happens to them. Like, look at these people, they're running away, so this must have happened in the war right like these are these are dead people dead elves that got trapped here during it i'm pretty sure that's what that is that lyrium oh okay i thought it was lyrium i was about to say what the hell <laughs> it's back here hello oh hey we're back at the camp from Veil Jumper's letter, I hear tall watchtowers once stood where the waters emptied into the sky, their torches lit to guide the wary traveler, sometimes on still days. When the mist hangs low on the river, I can't imagine the lighted path up in the golden spires of Ar Arlathon and the voices of my people calling home. I know Elvenon, our lost civilization, is not how I imagine it. Arlathon was a place of wonder and magic and also conflict and war, ruled by tyrants. And yet, still, I mourn that I wish I could have seen it just once and call it mine. I had a blue in a different handwriting. These feelings are not yours alone. There is no sin in grieving what was lost. Imperfect, though it was strife. Yeah, that's the thing. And this is why I'm saying it's really sad how the elven people ended up. And this is why Solus is a little bit, you know, pissed off too. And again, I don't blame him because... Our people, technically, whether he wants to agree that the Dalish and the elves of this generation or this world are his, they are taken prisoners here, slaves, and they're treated badly by a lot of people. It's not just in Tevinter. In Ferelden, they call them, like, what was it they call them? Knife ears and stuff like that? They, they treat them really badly. Ooh. Ooh, and then there's even more stuff. Oh my god, there's more statues and everything. What the hell is this? 
I don't think I can interact with that. Oh, what the hell? Something in there, which we can't get to just yet. Currently unaccessible. Yeah, those are all elves. Rook, you ready to go? Girl, you should not be up here. I don't know how many times I gotta tell you this. I love you, but oh, I'm not getting near that. It's gonna blow up in my face. Look at these people. They were just trying to enjoy a meal. Oh my god. I want to explore before we, we, we leave. I'm too nosy. The hell is this? Warn inscription. The secrets of the past now hidden to each and every man forbidden. But seek ye with watchful eye. Find the key to the owl's cry. Huh. A giant owl. Um. There must be something to this. Oh no. Okay, if my memory serves correctly, Fallen Dean is the owl of the elven pantheon, right? I'm pretty sure that's him. Harding, you sure you're up for it? I'm fine. I need to get back in the fight. You need to lay down is what you need to do. Let's <laughs> go. I've never seen fog this thick in Demeta's Cross. Yeah, I was gonna say, this doesn't look good. It's so dark. Why? This isn't right. The dock usually has people bringing goods to market. They're probably dead! And shouting. It's always busy. Something happened here. Oh god, you think um, either Algonon or Gilanon is here? What happened? Oh no. It's either that or just more darkspawn came through here. It's okay. so quiet. Yeah. Too quiet. Where is everybody? Through. Hello? Sorry, I'm just gonna- Y'all got any items before I go over there? You know, just- just checking. See it's here. market day. People should be out selling eggs and buying bread. But everything's just... abandoned. They barricaded the main entrance into town. To keep something out? No. Or in to keep something in. Yeah. What the hell? Okay. Oh! <gasps> it's blight. Even worse than in the forest. Hello? No one gets out. No exceptions. You okay? What happened to you? No, he's he's Keep them he's inside. sick. Inside. Listen to the mayor. Hello. I don't think he can hear us. He's already been affected by the blight. Oh fuck! Oh no! Oh no! All these people are. Everyone <gasps> has to stay. We'll be. No, you can't leave. Hey, Wait, who's who's telling you, you that? Me? Just stay here, and everything will be fine. What do you? Why? What? What do you mean by that? Hello. Someone used powerful magic to dominate the minds of these villagers. What the hell? How do I? The town square. We need to search for survivors. Let's see what we can find. Girl, I Run don't out. think there's anyone alive here. Like the blight already got them. We need to leave. This is Adeline. I knew her. She was a farmer. Sold spices to us. The best in Arlathan. I can't believe this happened. 
I'm sorry, honey, but we gotta go. What the hell? Just forget it. The mayor's not worth arguing with. He'll take gold from the town's coffer for a new fountain in the square outside his front window. But what lumber? What good is lumber to fix the docks that everyone uses? It's far too expensive. Adeline. God. Dude, the blight is so bad. It's never been this bad before. Look, is that an Aravel on the roof? The blight must have lifted it up there. What the hell? Who's laughing? This blight is Weird. Yeah, it is. It's Never freaking seen me out. Like it. Never. Blight's usually dead, static, but this is alive. That's creepy. Oh my god. Oh no, there's somebody hanging over there. What was that? What the thing big? Stay sharp. Oh. Hell no, do you do you see those tentacles Dude is Gillen on here? Over there, two more survivors. Hey, what's going on here? Find the veil jumpers. Bring them to the mayor. They're talking about Jahel and Milva. They said bring them to the mayor. If we find the mayor, then maybe we'll find your friends. Oh no. Oh ew, ew. Why we'll were stop. they looking for bail jumpers? What did the mayor want with them? A sinkhole. But how? Dude, what the hell? I don't wanna know what's down there. Careful not to slip. That's don't the deep know, roads don't down wanna... there. Yeah, that's what I'm Where saying. I don't wanna slip. Come from. Yep, don't no thank you. <laughs> I spent enough to Oh my god, why are people just standing there? Look, more people. Must round up everyone. Must get them inside. We will be rewarded. What? Be rewarded? Oh no. One of your fellow veil jumpers. Is that the other one? Bellora. Jahel, he's alive. Girl, I don't think he. Bellora. Oh. We're, we're going to help you. We'll get you down, Jahel. No, listen. The gods, the gods have returned. I saw them. I heard their voices. The gods did this? A blood ritual to release the blight. And the villagers, they said they needed power. Valara, be careful. My god i just thought of something so last episode i didn't talk about this so i was so mad but somebody in the comments mentioned this the fact that soul is saying he doesn't like he abhors blood magic and i thought that was weird because i were i do remember him saying in inquisition he doesn't see anything wrong with magic magic is magic it's depending on how you use it but if you go back and watch that scene, he does say he doesn't like blood magic for the fact that it's been used against his people. Tevinter has used blood magic in order um, to get their power and take over everything. And what blood did they use is the elves. But I think that's another reason why he doesn't like blood magic. The Evan Nurius used it. 
that's probably why he gets so pissed off about it. It's not a matter of he hates blood magic. He hates the fact that the Evan Uris has done this to the elves in general. What's happening? Help me, anyone! God. No, Bilar, I'm sorry. We can't stay, honey. We gotta go. Oh, God. I don't like that. It's making all these noises. freaking me out. It's over here. Jahel, to be safe, let's make sure Dumet Dumet's crossing is alright. And none of the villagers have spotted anything. Take Manil, but she's new. This will help ease her to build confidence in the sky. Oh no. Uh, and she was new too. Ah, uh, yikes. Help me! Hurry! Oh, that's the mayor! That is not Elganon. Hey! Or maybe it's Gillinate. I don't know. It could be either of them. The Evanors have ability to transform. Fresh blood. A hungry heart. Creature, come to me. Oh my god, it's Gillinon! <laughs> Oh, oh no, oh no, I'm actually scared. What is she gonna do? She sounds hot though, I'm sorry, I gotta say that. I know, I, listen, hear me out. <laughs> she hot, she got a hot voice. I know you, you're the mayor of this town. Where'd you like, kidnapping people or whatever? The people, are they uh... blighted? Dead, all of them. You gave them to the gods, didn't you? Didn't you? They were in my head, infecting my thoughts. They made me do it. Please help me. Tell me everything first. You're not going anywhere until I get the full story. I tried to protect people. You have to believe what? me. What? You were telling the people gods to like told me to look send them you. Took us to the center of town. The others were to be rounded up and kept safe. They would be the first to witness the glory of Gillanane's new creation. She showed me gold. So much gold. Creation? A blighted... Okay, forget the thing. What the hell's going on here? What's she gonna make? Because right. she can make we will beings, monsters, creation, animals, whatever she wants. A lot of dead people. Also, the gods could gain power from the blight. I never meant for that, I swear! You must believe me! The gods exploited his greed and fear. I'm supposed to feel sorry for him? I say we leave him right here. But I'll die! The blight! Everywhere, what if the dragon comes back? If we let you go, you'll run straight back to the gods. They were in his Ooh. head. Their influence might linger. Ooh. I understand what That's they kinda do That's kind of true. Now. I won't be tempted again, I swear. Rook. Oh no. Ah oh, god, I'm getting PTSD from Inquisition. Mainly because like they have a point. If we bring him, we don't know the effects of the blight because the blight is different. This is not the regular kind of blight. They they should not I've been saying this already. It should not look like that. And the fact that these, the Evanuris are so powerful because think about it, Solus has the ability to kill people in their sleep. What what the hell does uh, Elganon and Gillanon have? You know, I know Gillanon can transform and uh, make uh, animals and creatures and whatever, but what else can she do? We don't know. I'm sorry to this guy, but I'm gonna, I think I gotta leave him. I think I have to.
Leave him here. He can fend for himself. Sorry, Nev. No. Wolves will get him in the night, or given the state of this place, something worse. He can fight back. His village deserve better. Justice must be served. And, and low key, yeah, you kind of did sell them out, regardless of if you wanted, if you were controlled by them or not, because they were already talking about he, how he was taking money to build things for his house rather than help the village. So I'm gonna be real. He killed an entire village. There must be justice for that. Right. And we choose what form that justice takes. Nev, Somebody I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You don't understand the power they have. They show you what you crave. They speak to the darkness uh, in your man, heart. Man, I believe you. No one I believe can stand you. against that. Maybe Watch not. Me. Ooh. I won't be the last to surrender. I felt the evil. Let's go. No point arguing with a dead man. Terrible. No. That might be cruel, but I don't know. I don't want to risk it just in case because, like, we we have limited allies opened, on our side. And the gods were free. Oh, Thanks to Solus, they'd woken up to find their empire, their subjects, even their fellow gods, all gone. I'm scared. But they still had the power of the blight, and corrupting a village was just the start. They made plans to tap more of the Blight. All of it. To rebuild their empire. As a path to power, it had its costs. And everyone would pay for it. Oh my god. I don't know what we're supposed to do. This is why I want to talk to Solus again. Oh, neat. We can fast travel. Thank God. Anyway. Did you find our scouts? They're dead. I'm sorry. Elganon and Gilanane sacrificed them in some kind of ritual. Creators. What about the rest of the village? The ritual spread blight everywhere. The entire village was overrun. The few who survived are controlled by blood magic. Their minds are gone. Elgernon and Gilanin use them like puppets. Please tell me that's that's who I think it is. Please tell me that's who it is. Ah, it's I working! It a force. <laughs> oh my god, my babe! I love her. I love her so much. <laughs> They will not rest until you are Look at what she's wearing! She's wearing Mathal's crown! What the f Helpless in the face of such power. Lady Morrigan? Girl, what Tis you doing here? Morrigan to you, Scout Harding. What a pleasure Claudia to Black's see you voice. <laughs> Rook, this is Morrigan. An old acquaintance. I thought she could help. God, she's so Morrigan hot right now. Look at her. Morrigan when Varric and I were part of it. Yeah. She knew more about ancient magic than anyone except Solus. Right. Twas both pleasure and necessity to help then, as it is now. Stopping Elganon and Gilanane shall require many hands. I have a question, uh, mainly because, like, again, I. Where did I leave Morgan off in my playthrough? Kieran. I think I let Mathal help him. The whole thing where he kept saying he heard voices and stuff. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Somebody go back in my playthrough look at it. I think I let her help him. But that doesn't explain what's going on here. Because the theory of Mathal, she takes over. She's been talking about this since Dragon Age Origins. Mathal takes over her daughter's bodies. So like she's constantly coming back. Like her spirit's put into different bodies. So she'll always come back. And it, I do wonder if she tried that on Morgan. But I feel like. She was never trying to do that with her. I think she was trying to go after Kieran, but I don't know. Um, anyway. Who are you? No, I know who you are. So, who are you exactly? I have borne many appellations. Advisor to Orle, Witch of the Wilds. Friend to the Inquisition. My place here, however, is but a humble advisor on matters arcane. Witch of the Wilds. Yes, that is. An honorific, born of rumor and exaggeration. 
The fearsome but reputations it's an of your opponents, though? however, are duly earned. This dark turn of events shall only become worse. I'm so happy she's here. I don't give a crap. I love seeing Morgan. She's so great. <laughs> then I look forward to your help. How refreshing. Your cooperative nature is appreciated in return. What can you tell us about all this? As dangerous as Solus himself may be, his imprisonment of the gods was just. To leave them unchecked would have been the very end of Thedas. What caused? Oh, hang on. Um, so you know the Dreadwolf, she does. Just to be clear, you know your old friend Solus is actually the Dreadwolf? So I have come to learn. It rather explains how he knew such a great deal of ancient elven history. Yeah. And why he became so vexed when I attempted to explain it to him. <laughs> Whilst I cannot claim the same depth of knowledge, the knowledge I do possess is yours for the asking. Yeah, that's I the hope it helps. Thing. For all we know, the entire world will look like Demetis Crossing once the gods are through. We cause this. All, f all this for power. This is not happening. Loki, we did kind of cause this. Like, I, I, I do don't. I do hate that everyone's kind of blaming blaming Solus. Like, yeah, he's an idiot, but like, let's be real here. It's not just him. We kind of did that. This is our fault. When we interrupted Solus's ritual, the gods escaped. Would those feelings not be better used to put things right? But how? Set aside your notions of godhood and see them for the ancient, powerful mages they are. Standing against them shall require serious magic of your own. Mm -hmm. When you interrupted the Dreadwolf's ritual, did you happen across any of the tools he used? Where's the dagger? He had a dagger, but it got lost in the chaos. Then you would do well to find it. Is it, it. in Varric? That's what I'm worried about. Hands than those Where did it gods. go? Is there anything else Solus might have had that could help us? We're in his... well, he calls it the Lighthouse. Ah, yes. The legendary sanctum of the Dreadwolf. Tis said his Illuvian, the Viravas, could travel to any other Illuvian of his choosing. That's not how it works right now. It only goes to Arlithan. I can take a look at it. Maybe fix it, even. I know Illuvians better than most. Any help you can offer, we'd appreciate. Might as well. If Alluvians even work the same way, all the magic is different now. Our gods are back. Our gods. And they're killing people and blinding the world. How do we stand up against that? We have to work together. We kind of have no choice or we're all dead. None of us can do this alone. But we can stop them together. Alara, you're one of the only people in the world who can get our Alluvian working. Harding can track down the Lyrium Dagger, and Nev can spot any clues we might miss that give us more information. Let's get to work. There's a lot of fight ahead of us. Indeed. Prepare yourselves well, and have a care in your choices. These are the times in which legends are born, or slain. Oh, in thank this battle, you for your confidence. I shall render Morgan. whatever assistance I am able. Right. Let's move. I'm so happy to see Morgan. I missed her. I was actually scared she was not going to be in this game. Okay, after investigating the town of Dumet's Crossing, the team discovered the gods had laid waste to the town with blight. Worse, they tempted the mayor into betraying his people for gold. The team decided to leave the mayor to his fate. Arlathon Forest. The ritual site. You can do this, Lace. It's gotta be done. Oh my god. Okay. We gotta find the dagger. I'm scared. What what's left over here, you know what I mean? Look at the ground, like what's going on? I should have taken the shot. That would have made things worse. It's not your fault. You don't know that. All you have are guesses. We're up against something unfamiliar, working with more rumors than facts. Of course that's all I have. I should have taken the shot. No, we need to support each other. Stop that. You don't need to do that right now. We don't we we didn't know what was going to happen. We should have each other's throats. 
I'm not. Nev, I'm not. I don't blame you, or Rook, or anyone. So just yourself? How's that working out? Tried to stop the world from being swallowed by chaos, and now it might be swallowed by chaos anyway. Elven gods escape from their prison, Solus is in your head, and we're scrambling to figure out what to do. And Varric? Varric knew the risks. He knew what it might cost. And we're still standing. The fight's not over. You know, I like that about you, Lace. You don't stop fighting, you push for answers and action, while I can get stuck on questions forever. Well, we need someone who can put the pieces of the puzzle together. We're fighting the unknown. Exactly. Exactly. So don't Everyone don't blame yourself. We don't know what's going but on. This is why I need to talk to someone. Because of our strengths. <laughs> he wanted a team he could rely on. We have to be that team. Play to our strengths. And rely on each other. I think I can manage that. Then let's find Solus's dagger. It'll be a start. All right. Let's look around. Uh, can't go that way, so we gotta go around. Oh, no. Look, I can feel lingering magic, Ooh. powerful magic. That from the, the Titans here. Something took Illyriums. it. I don't know what's going on. I, I don't know if they're gonna mention the Titans or what, because like that's also something that I'm I'm curious about too. There's so much Dark Spawn. Oh no, what if it took the dagger? Only one way to find out. That's not good. And by the way, it is confirmed to be a Lyrium dagger. I think Varric has Lyrium poisoning. And nobody Look, knows. There it goes. I think he has lyrium poisoning. This is scary. Because, like, how are you supposed to cure him? We can't even, like, do anything about it right now. Save what the dark spawn coming right What the fuck? What the? Save my ultimate ability to help for later. We have to go after that ghoul. Let's get this gate open. Look up there. That magical device. Okay, we'll go we'll go up there. on the trail. Darkspawn don't usually collect things, do they? Solus's dagger is special. They might have been drawn to it. True. It is lyrium after all. Anyone spot that ghoul? It must have come this way. I don't know where the hell it went. Holla. Look out. Oh. More dark spawn ahead. Well, look at that. Thank you. Are you impressed, Nev? More dark spawn coming out of those pools. God. Staggered and takedown. Perform a takedown. Oh, okay. How do I do that? Get back! When it's low. Thank you. 
Oh, the takedowns. Ah, uh, I I know what that is. Kind of like the God of War thing, right? Woo! Did you find the dagger? I don't think these darkspawn took it. Let's keep looking. That probably would have damaged if I killed that whole thing. I don't know. Over there, our dagger thief. Ugh, more blight in the way. It's everywhere. Oh, oh shoot. Wait, where do I put this though? Ugh, and there's probably another one. Oh, it's underneath. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Nicely done. I mean, it's gross, but you can't argue with results. Hold on, I don't know where I need to put that yet. Oh, right here. the way first. Hang on, hang on. I was trying to stop them. Watch it. Likely. Oh. It's in here. One, now to find the other. Good work. Now let's see what's behind that gate. I gotta start changing things. Um, sure. 
Elemental staff. Why not? Wait, no, maybe I shouldn't because Nev is... Nev is the one that's using cold magic already. I'll just keep fire damage for me. Veil song. And I'll do fire brand. Ooh, a helmet. Oh my god, I look stupid as hell. Can I, like, change this? How do I change the... Unequipped. How do I unequip this? How do I unequip this? Can I not unequip it? I look stupid! No, get this thing off my f***ing head! <laughs> oh, there we go. Hide always. I don't want to see it. I'm sorry. I just don't. Where did this stupid freaking dark spine go? Get ready. Come on. <laughs> Get back! Ha! Nicely done, Nev! Yeah, she did good. the blade more often I have that ability to use it Make sure I get all the stuff that I can get because <laughs> I gotta sell things later so I can buy things for the entire team and not just my ass Be the ghoul we're tracking. Better hope it still has the dagger. And the F is this guy run? Oh! Got us the range. They're shooting for us. Ow, ow, ow! They're aiming for us. Got us the range. Watch it. Jackass? Jesus. There it is. Please be careful. Lyrium. Hunting? I just realized something. Oh my god. The dwarves are not able to harness magic. They never could. At least to our knowledge. I don't know about during Solus's time because it seems like they were able to. 
and the Titans have been asleep, essentially. That's what connects their magic together. And, like, the first time we saw this in the trailer, it reminded me of Solus, you know, in, Inquis- in Inquisition's Trespasser DLC, where he freezes those guys, turns them into stone, and then kills them. Was that what the dwarves had before? That's from the Titans. And Lyrium comes from them, too. So the elves were drawing magic from them then, right? Does that confirm that? <laughs> Are you moving those rocks? I don't know. I don't know how to control it. I'm not blaming you. Do this again. Combo opportunity. Hello. You got it. Not yet, not yet. I think I missed those too far. Nothing yet. Good to go again. Ranged incoming. Wait, where are they? I'm blind. Ready when you are. Magic so again. Back. We'll talk it through there. She's got magic again. That's nuts. Your pet has failed, sister. And now the magic of the dreadful stagger is hidden from me. Fen Harel meddles once again. If his stagger is beyond our reach, we must cross. Oh my god. Made of red lyrium. No! No! No, no, you don't want to use Red Larium! Girl, they're gonna do everything they can, aren't they? Oh my god! 
What are they doing? You said something took you over. The Titans. Mm, something like that. And it's still with you. Yes, I think so. It can't be possession, can it? it I doubt be. it. Dwarves can't be possessed. They aren't connected to the Fade. Solus's dagger. Yeah, this before. Event. What about but now? How? Or why? I'm sorry, Lace. I wish I had. We need answers. to talk. This is what keeps saying. We need it's to talk right. to him. Talking has helped. And hey, we got the dagger, right? Mission accomplished. Can we check on Varric? Make sure he's not dead. Dude's probably poisoned. Dwarves he's probably dead in the bed. I've never used magic. Yes. We can't. It's not any magic. It's not the magic I know. What do you mean? It's clearly stone focused, which makes sense. Dwarves are children of the stone. Mages connect to the fade. Dwarves reach out to the stone? Yeah, I Maybe? think it's a, it's a similar Maybe. way. <sighs> I guess we don't have any real answers. Where's Sandal at? <laughs> it's all just weird. I think it's a gift. I don't like this. Honestly, it's a wonderful gift. I think she needs to accept it. The, the, it but might I didn't do be beneficial to, to earn us. This. How could I be proud? Girl, you're a dwarf. I don't even know magic. how it happened. It's all a little strange, but not in a bad way. I feel connected to to the. To the stone. Dwarves children call here, ourselves me. children of the stone. Some of us have what we call stone sense. Those that have it can feel caves, lyrium veins, and faults in the rock. I wasn't one of them. Maybe the dagger unlocks something hidden. But, but this is more than the stone sense I know. I hope you're right that this is a gift. <sighs> I'd be heartbroken if it caused problems. Oh, you're not a problem. Sorry, I'm gonna flirt with everybody right now. <laughs> you being here is never a problem. Huh. Really? I don't know what I'd do if you went here, to be honest. That's so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> I am feel the same. Oh, I'll send word thanks. to the Grey Wardens about the blight we saw. And then I'm gonna lie down. Yeah, you really need to. And we need more real. answers about what the gods are planning. I'll find some place to relax and try to reach Solus in the Fade. <laughs> let me talk Good to luck. my husband. Try not to let him get to you. Oh, don't it feels worry. Like we're finally making some progress. If he if he says and something, I'm not sure. That, you know what my new magic is. Smart Alecky, I'll say it back. I know it feels right. With their eyes on the Dreadwolf and the gods he'd set loose. They couldn't see their own personal demons coming to haunt them. Oh Harding told herself it felt right. She was connected to the stone, to the lost titans, and all of dwarven history with its buried secrets. How could that be anything but good? Yeah, I, I, Varric uh, has a little personal opinion about that because of Dragon Age 2, so I don't blame him for being like, that's not good. But I'm more scared about the fact that they're gonna use red lyrium. Red lyrium is awful. You know, you don't want to get involved. Like, look what happened to Dragon Age 2. You don't want to be dealing with that kind of crap. The team has returned to Solus's ritual site, hoping to find the lyrium dagger that Solus lost. They pried the ancient artifact away from the darkspawn ghouls that were drawn to it, but touching the dagger has prof profound effect on Harding, seemingly rekindling a forgotten link between her and the stone. What this means for Harding mean remains to be seen. Oh, Guess God. I should find some place to try to talk to Solus. Yeah, we'll talk to- can I talk to Varric? Is everyone okay? Oh my goodness. Okay, let me level myself up first. I'm just gonna complete the circle here. I don't care. We need, we need to complete it in general. Wait, that room wasn't there before. Ooh. I don't think. That's a new room. Okay, hang on. 
They all jump over recruits always ask me the same question. When does the ruins reach? I tell them it depends on the day of the week. It's always changing. One week the trees turn blue. The next you'll hear voices speaking to you from thin air. The truth is we don't know what it is. We only know the stretch of forest where we could have a pleasant picnic is now ever shifting halls of mirrors and chaos. It's like reality is trying to figure out what it wants to be. What shape it wants to take and it keeps changing its mind. I've explored Arlathon Forest for much of my life and I've never felt so confused. The forest I once knew is becoming something else. Uh, the apparition. I was in the north, uh, northernmost stretch of Arlathon Forest trying to figure out a way into uh, Gelamis's ruins. We recently discovered an old journal that claimed the lost Hala Keeper found a room full of relics inside Gilanese. Down the labyrinth. The entrance was blocked by rubble. As I was getting ready to wedge myself through a gap, an apparition appeared in front of it. It was seemingly to block my way. Whatever it was, it wasn't solid, so I could I think I could have passed through it. But it seemed to be waving its arms like it was a warning that should have that I shouldn't enter the ruins. I didn't argue and I turned and ran. Oh, I wonder what it was. Ooh, here we go. Letter from home. This is an unsent letter from Harding to her mother. My dearest Ma, I'm writing to you from Minrathus and Tevinter. I'm in Tevinter! Isn't that amazing? Yes, there are very power-hunger mages and slavers and cultists, but the city is so much more than that. <laughs> you should see the magic magical lights. I mentioned this before, but I don't really work for the Inquisition the way I used to. It's complicated. I do miss it. I miss Skyhold. Me too, and my friends there. Same! But Charter still keep uh, keeps things in contact, and I'm working with Varric doing something really important. I wish I could tell you more soon, though. We've we've uh, ver we're very close to finding the person we've been tracking. Once that's over, I'll come home to you, and you'll get to hear my whole story. Maybe I'll even be in time for a sheep shearing. Lots of love, lace. Harding's notes, Lyrium Dagger. They had no idea it was a dagger when they found in the primeval thag. It looked like an idol with figures carved from red Lyrium. Don't want to stare at it too long, Varric once said. Felt like he was staring back. His brother Bartrid kept the idol for himself. Yep, that's in Dragon Age 2. And probably stared at it much longer. When he felt his sanity slipping, Bartrid stole the idol from the Knight Commander Meredith of Kirk. Okay, so that confirms that, that the dagger is that Lyrium idol from Dragon Age 2. Um, uh, Knight Commander Meredith of Kirkwall, who forged the idol into a blade. It didn't end well for her. The idol remained lodged into Meredith's petrified remains until it was removed some years ago, presumably by Solus, and restored from, to its original form. That's when, that's when we learned about the idol's connection to the elven gods. Solus used the Lyrium dagger to create the veil and is going to use it to bring the veil down. Yeah, he, he has Lyrium poisoning then! That's what it is. That's why he looks like that. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna end this right here. That was a lot to take in. Holy crap. Lace Harding has magic. To think that no dwarf... Really, I guess you can count Sandal. But no dwarf really has ever had magic before. And it was because of Solus the fact that he did that whole ritual thousands of years ago to lock the elven gods away and cut it off, cut every, everyone's power off from the veil and whatever. And on top of that, Gilanon and Ergonon are trying to use Red Lyrium. But also, did you see how crazy Gilanon look? Oh my god, she looks terrifying. And she's, she's also she's also able to transform into a dragon, which shouldn't be surprising because all the Eveneers are able to transform into something. But I wasn't expecting her to be a dragon. I thought um, Elganon was going to be the dragon and Gilanon was going to be something else. That's what I thought. But yeah, that's kind of scary. And then on top of that, the blight does not look like normal blight. It looks like 10 times worse than it normally is. So that's even worse. I don't know what's going to happen next, but it's scary because we got to talk to Solus and like tell him what we found. He's got to give us something, you know, some insight. I don't know. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Dragon Age of the Bell Guard, remember to leave a like. Please let me know in the comments what you think. And be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you guys know when I upload the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!